Stop being scared of losing people who adds nothing to your life but stress and anxiety. And remember, you got to be strong to be alone. For God did not give you the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of a sound mind. We rebuke that spirit of abandonment that is over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you guys are facing abandonment anxiety. And that can be a divorce, childhood trauma, amen, having intense fear of losing loved ones, amen, people that are close to you. But we find ourselves of being scared of losing these people that do not add value to our lives. They're constantly making withdrawals out of your life. They're not making no deposit in your lives. You're constantly pouring out everything to these people. You're constantly, amen, pouring out your unconditional love to these people. But guess what? They're not reciprocating the same love, the same energy back to you. So when you don't get what is expected, guess what? You have this fear of losing them. But we rebuke that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that spirit of insecurity. You start to be insecure with your own self. You keep on blaming yourself, knowing that guess what? You was the realest thing that could, that could ever happen to these people. Anybody that walked out of your life, you let them walk. Because you got to realize that these people didn't deserve you anyways. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. And it seems like every time you turn around, somebody always abandoned you. Every time you turn around, somebody always leaving you. Every time you turn around, somebody always forsaking you, betraying you. You got to realize that as long as you got King Jesus, you don't need nobody else. And this is why you having sleepless nights. This is why you're having anxiety attacks. You're going through deep depression right now because you can't seem to figure out why people just keep on walking out of your life knowing that you was the realest thing that ever happened to people. I know something I'm getting ready to say. And you got to realize that guess what? People are living a toxic life and all they're doing is bringing stress and problems into your life. And what you allow will continue. You know these people stressing you out. I don't know who this message is for, but you know these people are using you. You know these people are taken from you. You know these people keep on walking out on you and just keep on popping back in your life like it's just a thing to do. But you got to realize that caused a lot of stress. That caused anxiety attacks. Understand what I'm saying? That this is why you're getting shortness of breath. See, the devil, he want to wait till you get right by yourself. He thinks because you're alone that guess what? You're lonely. Just because you're alone don't mean you're lonely. Because God will never leave you, nor he will forsake you, man. You got to start letting a lot of stuff go and let God move in your life. Because guess what? Stress is the number one killer. I don't know who needs to hear this message. Stress kills. Anxiety kills. The devil is waiting for you to get a shortness of breath so he can take you up out of here. I'm telling you what's going on. I've been going through this since I was a child. Childhood trauma. My mama abandoned me. She left me and my brothers for the streets. This is why my grandmother had to take us in. This is why God had to move on my grandmother's heart to take care of us. Because my mother, she abandoned us since we were a child. She abandoned us for the streets. This is why that toxic relationship didn't work out for me. Because people ain't loyal like me. People wasn't raised under the same cloth as I was raised under. And the people you talking to, the people you dealing with, they got a lot of childhood trauma that they're going through. They got a lot of demons they, they got to face and they're going to do nothing but bring that toxic stress into your life. And all that's going to do is pull you down. Let me tell you something. If they're not holding you down, guess what? They slowing you down. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but if that relationship ends, guess what? Let it end. 
If that toxic friendship ends, let it end. It is what it is. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say it is what it is. Certain things is just out of your control, chosen ones. I don't know what it is, but negative energy and toxic energy, it is very, very contagious. You can feel it through a text message. You can feel it through a phone call. You can feel it, amen, through a relationship. And this is why you have committed illegal soul ties. We bind and we break every illegal soul tie that is holding you bound from you reaching your next destination. You sleeping with the enemy and you don't even know it. You sleeping with people who carry on toxic energy. You dealing with these toxic ass friends who hating on you, jealous of you. They can't stand to see you shine, stand to see you win. But you calling yourself, hey amen, guess what? Constantly holding on to people. That's not adding no value to your life. You constantly holding on to people that is nothing, amen, but a liability. There is not an asset to your life. They don't bring value to your life. They're not adding anything to your life, but, but stress and anxiety. I'm telling you what's going on. The minute you say yes to people's problems, you don't cause nothing but stress to come upon yourself. The minute you start taking on toxic people, Especially if they're going through nothing but hell in their life. Especially if they just got out of a relationship. Especially, amen, if, if they if they losing family members. You got to let people heal. Because all you're going to do is take on their problems. All you're going to do is take on their anxiety. All you're going to do is take on their childhood trauma. I'm telling you what I know. And you got to realize, guess what? God already healed you from that mess. And that's what the devil do. He'll send people into your life to destroy you because he knew exactly what you went through when you was a child. He knew you was abandoned. He knew you was betrayed. He knew you was left for dead. So he going to send somebody that's going through the same stuff you was going through. That's how the devil works. And this is why the Bible says, be not ignorant concerning Satan and his devices. Everything that glitter is not gold. I don't know who needs to hear this message. Just because it's appealing to the eye don't mean that, guess what, it's gold. People are conniving. They look good on the outside, but they are so devilish in the inside. And the only reason why they are devilish on the inside is because, guess what, they went through a divorce. They went through some childhood trauma. Come on to talk to me. They done, love some, they done lost some loved ones in the family. They done have so many deaths in the family. And you got to realize you already healed from that mess. You need somebody that is healed just like you. You need somebody that is saved just like you. You need somebody that is loyal just like you. You was raised under a different cloth. I don't know who this message is for. Your parents was together for 20 years, married for 20 years. Until death do them part. You got loyalty all in your DNA and you hanging out and, and committing relationship with people who was disloyal. You got loyalty all inside of your DNA, but you constantly hanging out with these fake friends who ain't got, who got nothing but disloyalty all in their DNA. Every time they turn around, guess what? They're going to continue to stab you in your back. Every time they turn around, they're going to start talking about you behind your back. Understand what I'm getting ready to say? This go for friendships. This go for relationships. This go for marriages. This go for boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. Anything that's not adding value to your life, it gots to go. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, if you ain't being my peace, if you're not bringing me no value, if you're not bringing me no joy, no happiness, you gots to go. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say, you gots to roll out. Because one of the wealthiest things you can ever have right now is peace. You got to realize being alone, it brings you peace. It brings you happiness. It brings you joy. In order for you to get to this next level, guess what? You got to have a peace of mind. In order for you to get to this next level, you got to start surrounding yourself around a bunch of positive people who's positive just like you. And you calling yourself being afraid of people who don't even add value to your life. What are you afraid of? 
What do you have an anxiety over? God did not give you the spirit of fear. You shake yourself loose. You put your, your foot down on the devil's neck. You put your foot down on the devil's neck and say, devil, you a liar and the truth ain't in you. I bind the spirit of abandonment in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you some of the chosen ones. I'd rather be alone and real. Than to be a, around a bunch of fake people. Who is nothing but toxic. Who, 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 who do nothing but stress other people out. Who do nothing, amen, but constantly being disloyal to other people. Let me tell you something, children. You realize they come, man. You the real deal. They didn't deserve you anyway. That's why the relationship, the marriage didn't work out anyway. It's simply because, guess what? You the chosen one. No more sleepless nights. No more negative thoughts of you committing suicide. No more blaming yourself. You need to start letting go of people who no longer add value to your life and let God move in your life. Because let me tell you something, man. You got to be strong to be alone. You got to be disciplined to be alone out here because an idle mind is a devil workshop. See, the devil, he waits for you to get by yourself. See, the devil thinks that you're alone, that you're lonely. No, just because you're alone don't mean you're lonely. For my God, he will never leave you. No, he will forsake you. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but my God, guess what? He will always be there with you, even until the end of this world. Other something I'm getting ready to say, we rebuke depression. We rebuke anxiety. We rebuke every negative thought. We pray that God will take every negative thought into captivity, and you shall remember these negative thoughts no more. In the name of Jesus. So anybody who walked out on you, anybody who left you for dead, anybody who betrayed you, you let them walk. Don't you let nothing disturb your peace of mind. Don't you let nothing intervene with your peace of mind. Because God got big plans in store for you. We bind that spirit of doubt. We bind that spirit of fear. We bind that spirit of, 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 of confusion, that spirit of abandonment. Aren't you tired of people just walking out of your life? Aren't you tired of people just giving up on you? Aren't you tired of people just taking from you? When you're going to realize that being alone, amen, is the best thing that could ever happen to you. When you're going to realize that, guess what? You need this isolation season right now. You need to take some time out for yourself. When are you going to finally realize that? You shouldn't be laid up in no hospital right now. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be losing breath right now. I don't know who this message is for, but guess what? You almost out of breath right now because guess what? Somebody walked out on you because you know why? You put too much energy into these people. You put too much trust in these people, man. They say jump, you say how high. You bending over backwards and forwards for people. You breaking your neck for people. Guess what? They would never break their neck for you. You're giving people all of your unconditional love. You're giving people all of your time, your energy, and your attention. And guess what they do? They abandoned you. They left you for dead. That ain't nothing but attack from the enemy. Because guess what? You got to realize the devil know who you are. He know, he know what you're about. He know who you represent. And he know you got to get hard. He know you love hard. Listen to me. One thing I love about the chosen one is when we love, we love hard. We'll do anything for you. And one thing I also learned about the chosen ones. We'll put up with people's mess just because we like them. But we ain't got to do deal with that crap. 
We give people too many chances and they already showed you that, guess what? They're not for you. They already showed you their true colors. But we so forgiving, so loving. We give people chance after chance after chance after chance. They ain't doing nothing but stress you out. And you wonder why you have an anxiety attacks. Because people are bringing so much toxic energy in your life. People are bringing negative energy in your life. Believe me when I tell you this. When people are toxic and they are negative and they carry on demonic spirits, I'm telling you, man, it can really take you up out of here. Why do you think they say stress kills? Why do you think your blood pressure rising up? The devil is a liar and the truth ain't in him. Why you think your blood pressure rising up right now? It's simply because you got toxic ass people around you. I don't care if they're your family. I don't care if they're your relative. If they not being your peace, if they're not bringing you no peace, they got to go. Because you got to realize, man, you got the energy to make it to the next level. Energy is the new currency. What part you don't understand that your energy is the new currency. You got to conserve some of that energy, man. Other something I'm getting ready to say. One thing I realized that guess what? Men lie, women lie. But that energy, oh, that energy never lies. So when you're around certain individuals who carry on toxic spirits, who carry on negative, negative spirits, negative vibes, Listen to me, that will pull you down. That will bring you down. When people go low, you go high. I had to learn that this year. And you got to be you got to be very careful because let me tell you some people, they really carry on demons in them from their childhood drama. People carry on demons on them from that previous divorce, from that broken up relationship. You like, what the hell? Why am I getting all this baggage? Why am I getting all this drama? Why am I getting all these different spirits coming at me? Why this person is lashing out at me? I ain't did nothing wrong to this person. Because they fighting demons on an everyday basis. And you allowing it to happen. Because you afraid to lose people. You afraid to be by yourself. The devil is a liar. You better start embracing being by yourself because guess what? This peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me and the world sure enough ain't going to take it away. This joy that I have, this world didn't give it to me and this world sure enough ain't going to take it away. This happiness that I have, this world didn't give it to me and this world sure enough ain't going to take it away. But I'm going to tell you, the minute you walk into people's lives, the minute you walk into people's presence, you can feel that energy on them right away. You know if they just got in an argument, you know if they gossiping, you know if they negative, you know if they hating on you, you can feel it. I don't know what it is, but negative toxic energy, you can feel it through it, especially through a text message. That's when you know energy real is when you can feel it through a text message. You ain't always got to be on the phone with people. You ain't always got to be in their presence to see how toxic they are. You can feel it through a text message. I'm telling you what's going on. You know how many people abandoned me? You know how many people betrayed me? You know how many people left me for dead? And, and that anxiety kept on building up over time. I didn't even know it. That anxiety is just going to keep building up over time, over time, over time. And then it's going to get to a point where, guess what? You can't even breathe no more. I've been there. I've been in the back of an ambulance. Out of breath. Homeless. Don't know where I'm going to lay my head the next day. Don't know where my next meal is coming from. Because somebody abandoned me. Somebody left me for dead. And it's been happening to me since I was a child. Thank God for my grandmother who took care of me for 16 years of her life. Who died of cancer for helping everybody else's, helping everybody else's asses out in the family. But when she was going through cancer, guess what? People started showing their true colors. But we jumping to help everybody. We jumping to everybody else's beck and call. We giving everybody first class treatment. We taking care of everybody. Knowing God damn well, they not taking care of you. 
Let me tell you, man, my grandmother was one of the nicest women you would ever met, meet in your life. She was one of the most sweetest women that you would ever meet in your life. What I mean to tell you, she took so many people into her house. That's stress. My granny was so real, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. She didn't want to see people out there in the streets. So she took a lot of people in under her wing. Man, that's stress. But she did it out of the kindness of her heart. And I wish I knew what I what I knew now. I wish I knew back then what I knew now. Man, I would have told my grandmother, granny, you ain't got to do it. If I would have knew that when my grandmother had cancer, how the family mistreated her like that. And I was the only one that had to go back there and take care of her because she took care of me. My grandmother took care of 30 freaking grandchildren. She has seven children of her own. Then she took on the responsibility of me and my brothers. That's stress. Let me tell you something. God would not put too much on you than you can bear. While you trying to take on everybody else's problems. While you trying to take care, take on everybody else's toxic energy. While you trying to take care of Take on everybody's negative energy. Let me tell you something. You ain't doing nothing but stressing yourself out. Don't you do it. Listen to me. Stress is the number one killer. You enjoy these last few months to the end of this year and take care of yourself because in the whole year 2025, guess what? You ain't going to be able to do nothing for nobody because guess what? You deserve the whole year, the year 2025 to yourself. Don't you be afraid to put it coming below and say, I deserve the whole year of 2025 to myself. To better yourself. You can only do so much for people chosen ones. You can only love people. For so much. For so long. No matter how good your heart is chosen ones. You got to start treating people the way they treat you. Man I'm trying to tell you what's going on. The best revenge is no revenge. It's to let these people go. That's the best revenge. Is let these people go and move on with your life. That's the best revenge. The best revenge is massive success. The best revenge is showing these people that guess what? They ain't stopped nothing. They ain't pulling nobody down. Come on and talk to me. You still living your best life. You still looking like a million bucks, smelling like a million bucks. Other stuff I'm going to say, the best revenge is showing people that you don't even look like what they put you through. Don't you be afraid to put it on blow and say the best revenge is showing these karmics that guess what? I don't look like what you put me through. And it always seemed like, hey amen, when you get in a relationship or hey amen, when you in a when you in a close friendship, hey amen, it always seemed like, hey amen, when you when you when you when you close with a family member and they end up dying, hey amen, and and, and and it seemed like, hey amen, you can't find nobody else to cope with. You can't find nobody else to get along with because guess what? That person was close to you. It seemed like every time you turn around, somebody disappear out of your life. Every time you turn around, you feel like you alone. Every time you turn around, you back by yourself again. And the only reason why these things are happening is because God is trying to show you that guess what? Everybody can't go to where I'm getting ready to take you. That's what he's trying to show you. You can be a fool if you won't. Putting everybody on this yacht, knowing that guess what? None of these people was was in the mud with you. They was not sitting in the mud with you, but you want to invite everybody to the yacht. They getting ready to poke holes in your boat simply because they toxic, they negative, they jealous, they hating on you. Understand what I'm getting ready to say? They not adding value to your life. This is what people do when they have nothing to offer you. They use you for whatever they can use you for And then they will get on from you Because guess what They already got what they needed from you And you'd be surprised man Some people will use you for your energy Some people will just use you for your strength Oh you'd be surprised how many people want your strength You'd be surprised how many people are in dying need of your energy man And you just giving it to them 
You give them all your love. You give them all your joy. You give them all your peace. And the minute you make them better, they're going to walk out on your ass. The minute you help them, hey man, guess what? They're going to be so high in the air. And guess what? They're getting ready to shit on you. I'm going to tell them I'm getting ready to say. You got to learn how to conserve some of that energy. Do you know what you carry? Do you know what you have on the inside of you? You got personality like no other. You don't need no toxic energy around you. You got the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. You don't need no toxic energy around you. You got the Prince of Peace hanging out with you. Well, I'm going to tell you there is no better feeling like being in the presence of God. No better feeling. Because when you're in the presence of God, I'm trying to tell you, man, you, 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 you just be so much at peace. You're just so calm, cool, and collective. Hey, man, you keep it chosen. Don't never let nobody see you, hey, man, hey, man, uh, 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 down and out. Don't never let nobody see you begging, hey, man, for these people to stay with you. Don't you ever beg nobody else to stay with you. Don't you ever let nobody see you, amen, at your most vulnerable moment. The devil is a liar. Don't you ever let nobody see you weak. Because people will really use your kindness as a weakness. Man, I'm trying to tell you what's going on. They will use your kindness for weakness. Stop giving everybody easy access to you, man. Stop letting people get too close to your spirit. Stop giving out all your love to people, man. And protect what God has given you. Stop sleeping with people. Because people are really mentally crazy up here. And when you sleep with somebody, amen, that guess what? They got negative energy. They toxic. They ain't got their life together. They going through childhood trauma. When you sleep with people, amen, that haven't even healed yet, you're getting ready to take on all their problems. I promise you. Now you guys have a soul tie. Their soul is connected to your soul. Their problems has now become your problems. You're not even knowing. Listen to me. Their anxiety become your anxiety. You're not even knowing. Listen to me. Energy is real. Protect yourself. And stop being afraid of losing people. Stop being afraid of losing people. By Jesus stripes, you are healed. We bind that spirit of abandonment. From this video forward, you will never be abandoned again in the name of Jesus. The next person that comes into your life is going to see who you really are. They're going to love you for who you are. And they're going to ride or die with you because you are the chosen one. The next person that comes into your life, I'm telling you what's going on. They're going to be your backbone. They're going to realize what you bring to the table. And as a matter of fact, they're getting ready to add to the table. Somebody getting ready to recognize your value. Somebody is getting ready to see that anointing. And guess what? They're not going to overlook it. They're going to embrace that anointing that's over your life. Somebody about to give you the same love that you've been giving all these toxic people for all your life. Somebody getting ready to cater to you just like you've been catering to people all your life. Somebody getting ready to pour out into you just, just as much as you've been pouring out to people who ain't never poured into you. Somebody getting ready to see the best in you when you don't even see the best in yourself. No more sleepless nights. No more tossing and turning in your bed. No more depression. No more neglection in the name of Jesus. No more abandonment in the name of Jesus. Because God will never leave you. He will never forsaken you. Listen to me. This is when you know how... It, you, this when you know when people uh, when you start seeing people true colors or if they really love you or when they really feel for you like that is when you go through an anxiety attack. Because let me tell you something, real situations expose fake people every single time. When they get real, they're going to jump ship. Listen to me. 
You invited these people on your yacht. You invited these people on your boat. And now all of a sudden they got real on that boat. Come on and talk to me. They got real on that boat and guess what? They jumped ship. They went to a whole nother boat. They went to a whole nother yacht. Because you know why? These people didn't deserve you in the first place. These people wouldn't even like you in the first place. The Bible says, yes, we are in this world, but we should not be of this world. We are not of this world. And the people you call yourself being around, hanging around with, showing love to, being in love with, they are of this world. You're not from this world, chosen ones. This is why you love so hard. This is why you treat people with love and kindness. This is why you are people's peacemaker. It's because, you know why? You belong to the Most High. You belong to the Savior, man. You belong to the Prince of Peace. And it's the God in you. It's the God in you that make you so real. It's the God in you that make you so genuine. It's, it's the God in you that make you so peaceful. So if people can't be your peace, if people can't bring you no joy, if they can't bring you no happiness, things that money just can't buy, they got to go. Because you done been through so much toxic shit already, man. I don't know who this message is for. You done been through so much hell and hot water. Aren't you sick of going back through hell? Or going back to hell? You've been facing adversity all your life. People have been walking out on you all your life. Aren't you tired of that? But if you tired of that, fall back and make Jesus your choice. Fall back and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And I promise you all these things is getting ready to be added unto you. Trust me when I tell you. And get away from these people who constantly making withdrawals. Constantly making withdrawals. They're not making no deposit in your life. They slowing you down. They are not an asset. They are nothing but a liability. These people cannot do nothing for you, but just cause stress and anxiety in your life. Life is too short to be laid up in some hospital. Life is too short to be going through anxiety attacks. Life is too short. So if you didn't learn anything from this message I just told you, told you, I need you to learn from what I'm about to say to you right now. Being alone will be the best decision that you will ever make in your whole entire life. Because as long as you got King Jesus, I promise you, you don't need nobody else. We the chosen.